G'day, welcome back to the Weedy Garden. So we have chicken manure and cow manure and we also have this one. Welcome back to the Weedy Garden, Weedy Garden's walkabout tour. This is where it starts the process of becoming soil again. Oh, I've got to drink a lot of water today. I've got a little bit of Himalayan salt in here as well, pink Himalayan salt, which helps the electrolytes. So I don't get all crampy this afternoon after losing all this sweat. Mix and poo, one of the joys of gardening. Righto, so today I'm gonna to make a new compost in this spot right here. I'm gonna put some garden scraps and some sugarcane mulch, some cow manure, and of course, our human manure. So first we're gonna turn some of the old stuff that I've been collecting from the garden, basically just weeds from the garden. And then I put a bit of straw in because we need the browns with the greens, right? And then, uh, what I think I'll do is I'll um, turn the hose on. I just have to set the hose up here. I use creek water. We pump the water directly out from the creek. So it's energized water, fresh, pure water up here in the weedy garden. And I'll just turn that off again. You notice how I'm not wearing any gloves? Well, I'm not wearing any gloves because I'm not touching anything. See, all I'm touching is my tools. So, there's like nothing to be afraid of. If you're gonna be putting all sorts of manure on your garden, you might as well put your own on if you can collect it. I'm not saying that you should do this if you're living in the city. By any means, just showing you what I do up here in the weeder garden. So we just basically mix these greens and browns and a bit of cow manure. This is gonna be very sweaty work. Interesting to see how much sweat I got on me after all this. Look, you see that? 39 degrees. That's why I'm sweating. So I've just been collecting all this garden waste over the last few weeks until I get a bit of it and then I just mix the compost and put my ingredients in and then I turn it every couple of days. Then I put some bacteria juice in this as well. Browns. You notice that uh, the bucket that I have the human manure in, I've also, every time I use it, I put sawdust in, in it as well. So it's mixed with sawdust and I put bacteria juice in there as well, lactobacillus bacteria. And that takes the smell away, so it doesn't smell at all. Bit of cow manure. You can see all this compost down the bottom here. It's been sitting here for a long time. So there's already worms in it and lots and lots of life already crawling around. Going wacko with the decomposing process. That's why I call this the soil factory. And all my little workers are these little microbes. In a second I'll put some bacteria juice on it. And a bit of molasses. Okay. It's one little pile ready to go. Now, second last ingredient. So now we're down at the little bacteria factory. So I'm gonna put some bacteria juice. I call it bacteria juice, but it's lactobacillus bacteria. 
We've got this shade cloth on because the morning sun belts down here and, and hits the drums, so we don't want that to heat them up. So basically, I just take one glass full of this. Just like one beautiful glass. See how it looks? That's what it's supposed to look like. And then we've got the same amount of molasses. So we just put bacteria juice in. And then the molasses. It has to be black strap molasses too, by the way, or unsulfured molasses. I get mine from the health food store. It's very important that it's unsulfured molasses. And we just water that on, and that'll just soak through the whole thing. And those bacteria is going to breed and start munching away at all that organic material in there. And if you don't know what this lactobacillus bacteria is, then I made a video about it. You can check that out up here. One compost ready to go. I'm going to put the last little ingredient in. This is my t-shirt. Mm. You don't have to be afraid. Once it's been in this compost and, I, and it gets attacked by the microbes, it'll be all broken down into lovely fresh garden soil. Just before I go, I'm going to show you how I constructed my little compost toilet. See, basically all of this is I've got a garbage bin here, and I've drilled a hole in the bottom, right down the bottom here. And then I've screwed in a tap on the outside. It's important to have a tap because you need the drainage. Then I put a little bit of shade cloth around the pipe, and um, that's basically all it is. I do add sawdust and lactobacillus bacteria as well to the compost toilet. The lactobacillus bacteria keeps the smell away. So does the sawdust. So that's how you make it, a simple compost toilet. That's how I do it anyway. I'll be turning this now every couple of days. I just put the cover on it. So after 21 days, this big pile of organic material looks like this. See? Straight, ready for the garden. And I've already put a whole heap on my garden earlier this season before I planted all my summer crops in. So on the next video, I'll show you my vegetable garden and how that is powering because of this beautiful gold that we're making up here on the hill. Okay, I'm going to go and have a nice cold swim down the creek, I think, again. And um, I'll see you over in the veggie garden. Okay, hope you enjoyed the video. Have a nice day and I'll catch you later.